as you can see, I've learnt a really good lesson today. I have been watching other people. <laughs> Well guys, I can safely say I'm having one of those days when it comes to coming out to my garden. I've got my baskets here and this one I've just gone and got them because I didn't have enough enough um, room in this little one here but let me squeeze on past you. Oh, fall over, don't. So these that I've picked up here, as you can see, I've learnt a really good lesson today. I have been watching other people in their gardens. I didn't thin them out. So essentially this is two plants here. It could have been three, four, five plants. And these little carrots are the little round um, French move that out of the way french carrots so they're only meant to be tiny and round so unfortunately i've learned a very valuable lesson today there's a few more so i've been waiting and waiting and waiting for these as you may have known move this out of the way right there for a sec um not thinking they had grown i did a little bit more research and yes, they had. I don't want to lose all my dirt from in here. Give that a good old shake off. So many roots. And when we open them up, we have our little carrots. So, lesson learnt. Need to separate as I go. Yep, that's another lot of roots on there. So anyhow, that's okay. That's what gardening is about. It's about learning. And as I am new to gardening, I'm learning very valuable lessons. And I'm hoping I'm managing to show you all on camera okay. Lots more roots and another carrot. Here I was thinking they hadn't actually grown. This whole bunch here, hopefully. There we go. So we'll be having carrots with our dinner tonight. I'm really chuffed that I've learnt my lesson today. Anyhow, now I'll be able to plant some other things Oops, in here, which will be great. I'll get to doing that shortly. I'm not sure when the bees are meant to be harvested. Again, maybe I'm waiting too long. Everything's been in here since I first started my garden, so that's quite some time ago now. Hence why I'm thinking maybe i'm running behind with everything but again these are lessons okay guys so all i'm doing here is just moving throughout my garden and actually pulling up some of the things that i think are ready to come out here i've got my rainbow spinach I actually chose this spinach, one, because it was heirloom and two, because of the colours. I thought it would just be absolutely gorgeous to have growing in the garden, all of these beautiful colours. So that's why I chose them. We actually had them with our dinner last night and my goodness, my husband said, my, this um, spinach is absolutely beautiful. I All I did was pan fry it with um, a little bit of um, olive oil onion and bacon and then put the um, spinach in also that wilted down really nicely generally I would do it with a um, like a cream base um, but with having the chicken and um, 
and what was it chicken and a, a lemon chicken it had a lot of sauce with it so there's no need to actually make it another sauce to go just on the um the spinach so that was fine so we had it just like that and i can tell you it was amazing to be able to take things out of your garden and cook them at night um, something that we have only just started doing so really really loving it here I'm getting the flat leaf parsley so just cutting that up um, also along with some uh, um, spring onions so we'll be using those throughout the week and here I'm just cutting off the outside leaves the larger leaves of the baby um, spinach so I actually heard that you can like grab it and cut it off down at the ground level and it will keep on um, growing so I actually did that with one of them I didn't want to kill everything if it didn't actually work so an experiment I'm doing there so just getting those outside leaves and that was it I'm quite happy with my little harvest today Okay, two eggs have just been laid while I was grabbing those out, so we'll come back and check the rest of them later. But um, we'll take out a little basket with our goodies. Woohoo! Yep. <laughs> hey girls, thanks, darling. Not until everything's ready to go. Be wonderful to be able to come out and just pick our own produce. I mean, I guess I've just done that, but I mean, when the tomatoes get going, everything else. Alrighty, let's jump on in. Okay, guys, so now the produce is harvested and I've brought it inside. It's now time to wash it because real food is dirty. It's not like when we buy it at the supermarket. It's not clean. It's not super, super shiny and all that horrible stuff. If you want real food, real nutrients, very great tasting, that sounds really, really crap. <laughs> but I'm going to leave it in there. If you... Um, Grow your own food, guys. It's dirty, so let's get to washing it. Thanks so much for watching guys. I shall see you soon. Do your best and nothing less.